Hello, my name is Will Carrara, and I am the lead backend developer for OpenET's API. In our last video, we made our first request programmatically using some Python code from the documentation. In today's video, we'll be expanding on that code to query the API for multiple models, putting them into a data frame object, and then exporting them as a CSV locally. Heading over to Visual Studio Code, we're going to first import some libraries. We're going to use the requests library and the pandas library in order to make our uh, code work as expected. I'll paste in the arguments that we used in in our previous video. And we're going to first build out a function that's going to allow us to use the OpenET API with a little bit more flexibility. Now, when we use the API, we need to set a header with the authorization keyword and then your API key. Once that's done, we can go ahead and write out the rest of the request just in the standard uh, post format by the request library. Again, this is all in the documentation. And I'll post a link to this script in the description. So once we've added our URL, we can go ahead and start putting this into a data frame object. Because we're using the output format in the JSON format, we're just going to cast that directly into a pandas data frame. And we're going to want to set the index as time. The reason we do this is because every time the OpenET API returns a response for the time series point, every column and name is just going to be ET, because that's the variable in this case that we're requesting. But if we're going to have multiple models, we're going to rename that variable as the model in the data frame object so that the columns are just going to be models. Now we'll paste, paste in our models of interest. And all we need to do here is really just loop through these models, update the request arguments, and then append it to an empty list. Once that's done, you can export it as a CSV locally after you've concatenated it all together. Now, what you should see when you run this code is going to be a simple CSV with time and then each respective model followed by the ET values for the request range that we used. I hope you found this really helpful. And stay tuned for our next video where we will be using the multi-polygon endpoint to make a request. Thank you.